finally like spot on like what I should pray about regarding to that verse. It's like, okay, now I could like start breathing again and then move on. But and I thought, no, this is like this is a joke, right? No, I think it's real. <laughs> that and yeah, I guess also just being content where I am right now and because often people will like to push you around to rush you like, this is what you need to do next this is what you do this is what you do and I thought no I don't have that urge or anything like for example like yeah I do desire to be in a marriage but I don't want to do it just because other people are telling me to do it or because like, I'm so desperate Heck no like, yes, preach! <laughs> you got a fan. If I, if I do want to make an effort, sure. But I know, number one, my priority is Jesus. That if I am not passionate to love Jesus, then I'm starting to wander off and trying to find something else that I think I don't love Jesus. Because, because if he said that he is enough, then he is enough. Amen. I don't need to say blood or this or, you know, something else. Get into it, sister. Amen. Get into it. Uh, I read something the other day that I thought was really powerful, like really good. Um, just let me find it. Like, yeah, make, make an effort. But I I heard like someone told me like you you need to come to a place where your singleness is where you content that you don't need to think about anything else. Mm -hmm. Then because then if you're content in there, you're becoming a whole being in Jesus Christ. That you don't need to find your satisfaction from somewhere else, despite of your heart's desire. Because you're supposed to align your heart's desire according to his heart, not to go according to what you want, and then you push your God's heart into yours. You're the one that's supposed to yield to him, right? Because if you're not yielding to him, then who's the God? You or God? And yeah, even sometimes people told me to. Go to young adults. Go meet this kind of guy. Go meet there. And I mean, yeah, for sure I'll I'll meet them, but I don't want to meet someone for a wrong reason just because I have a hidden agenda, right? I want to meet them like, you know, like yeah, you're cool. Like you're as a person. Like let's start even with friends. Like I don't want to start like at the wrong foot, you know, because <laughs> often people approaching someone because you know there's like that little bit of hope that there'll be more and that's that's not how I go <laughs> it's not me yeah you're still okay. oh yeah <laughs> this is this is good relational relationship advice right there it's like you know my life or something like that i'm like yo only dating 101 with this, there we go Tommy. there we go and if, yes. if you're not listening i will like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this preacher is this preacher is intense man <laughs> dang bro I think she's from I africa bro. yo bro i, I for, for real bro you sure you're in black <laughs> anyway linda's got something she wants to linda, read why didn't you Aaron. 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 Aaron, it's cause it's cause How long have you known her? It's cause you know Linda was in the was Linda was in the room when we're talking. You know Linda, right? From Christ the Healer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at you like you like, like her name is not Linda? What? Who's that? Aaron. Right. Okay, it says the devil convinced Eve of her lacking even when she had none. I thought that was a good word. Say that. Again? Holy Cow. The devil I was gonna say holy freaking cow. <laughs> Don't think I was gonna swear. No. Eve of her lacking, even when she, she had, had none. none. So he made her feel like she was less than mm -hmm. what she was, mm -hmm. and even that, just to make her less than what she was. Than what she was. That's just yeah. yeah. 
I've always told. And I think I heard also like a message, like around Genesis stories. This this is why I love Genesis stories. <laughs> no matter how much how many times you're reading it, it's it feels like God keeps on pulling on more and more. Is that when Adam naming all of this animal, and then he said, "I don't find some anyone that is like, you know equal to me," and then God says. Uh, it's not good for a man to be alone stuff and then he created a, wo a woman right but he created E not only just for the sake of him to satisfy Adam by himself but it's to help Adam to fulfill his calling which is to naming the animal and help taking dominate the, the earth yeah. <laughs> have dominion sorry not dominate. Yeah, to so take care of it, right? So, in a way, like, God created Ad uh, Eve not just to satisfy Adam. Bro, that sounds so objectifying. <laughs> you know, like, it God created objective. Eve to satisfy. I'm like, well, bro, people like, that, though. people yeah. do. That is, that, I didn't see that. You know, when I read it, like, I, I, I feel bad that people actually, how could you? Yeah, I'll just stop God. there. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll stop there. But, How could you read that and just... Eve yeah. was created to help Adam. So actually, Eve's first calling is not to just be Adam's helper, but to... Or like be his companion, but to actually fulfill what God calls into Adam to make him to a completion. So Eve becomes a helper, not just in a sense to like... Lesser Adam's than, place, yeah, but also to support him in a way that, like, you know what, let's finish partner, this together. business partner, partner. yeah. Partner. And so, like, I, you know, why I say it shocks me because when you read the, 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 the creation of Adam and Eve is described in chapter two, but in chapter one, in verse chapter one of Genesis, verse 26, it, God says, Let us make man in our own image and our likeness. So, He made them male and female. And he gave them. He didn't say he gave Adam alone. He gave them. So both of them dominion over the, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea. You understand? And then he told them, Hi. How you doing, brother? God bless you, man. <laughs> Pardon? Prayer. Prayer. Like Free prayer tonight. Do you need any <gasps> prayer? For whoever wants. For me? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not, bro? Let's pray. Okay. What can we pray for you for? Um, pray for my eye to get better. Yes. Okay. What's your name? Robert. Robert? Robert. Uh, All right. Sorry. What's wrong? Sorry, sorry. I just want to know what was wrong with your eye. Well, I, got, I had I had water that night. Yeah. It closed that it open. Yeah. It, 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 it gets real. So. Okay. All right. That's right. Yeah. You go ahead. Just gonna be healing over you right Amen. now. Yeah. Yeah. You said there was water. Yeah, well, it waters. Well, it waters, yeah. and it's sore right now. Yep. Yeah. Is it pain? Are you in pain? No, it, it, it gets red. Okay. Lord, we just speak healing over Robert right now. We thank you, God, for him. Mm -hmm. We thank you, God, that you created him with a great purpose, and um, we believe right now that your healing power comes on him. We just speak to his eye and we say, be healed in Jesus' mighty name. We just release it right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yeah. What, do you mind me asking what happened to your nose? Well, I, I, I had a uh, skin graft. I had cancer. Yeah. So it, it took get off my leg and put it on my nose. Yeah. Can I pray for your nose too? Yeah. Lord Jesus, I believe you're a healer. Absolutely. I pray that you heal Robert? Yep. You heal Robert. Restore his nose, Lord. Yes. Make it whole again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, we bind and we rebuke every spirit of infirmity now in the mighty name of Jesus. And we command it back to the abyss where it belongs in Jesus' mighty name. Every voice, every voice that is not of you, God, that does not line up with your spirit and with your word, we command it to be mute. We command it to be silenced now. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Yeah, man. Hey, when he heals you, if you see me around, come tell me. 
Okay. Thanks. All right. God Thank bless you, you brother. Thanks, bless you, man. It's good to see you. Have a great night. Thank you, Lord. Look at that. You see, when Jesus is exalted, the people come. Oh, yeah. That's why go. You should keep on talking. Yes, keep preaching. Yeah, yeah you were just talking, and it's like, yo. Jesus. Lord. That's good. I think this is what we should talk about. We're talking about Adam and Eve, right? Yeah, and dominion. Yeah. Yeah. I think also, like, even from that creation story, that uh, how people see, like, yeah. I don't understand how Christians see, like, like women as, like, lower than mm. the man mm -hmm. to the point that they can't put women in leadership, even though... If you know the woman personally, like you clearly see, this woman have the gift of leadership. Like, right? is the man just have ego or something? I do not know. Same old spirit. Yeah, and I mean, especially while well, looking again at uh, creation stories, is that God gives Eve as Adam's helper, and if you think it logically. Who is actually the stronger part? Like the one that needs help or the one that needs help? <laughs> <laughs> I'm offended. I'm a go now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, just no, kidding. No. I'm not just saying that to like, you know, man is We were sad and lonely. No, 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 to be honest with you, no. I'll be very honest. If there were no ladies in this planet, I'll probably tell God, yo, man, yeah, just kill me right now. Just, <laughs> I'm done, man. Like, I'm, I'm done. Just, yo, 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 let's be real, bro. Let's say, yo, 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 God, something's missing here and I don't know what it is. But yeah, I'll, I'll be real. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm not I'll saying be real. that men are the lowly human being that needs to be crushed by women, not, not that as well. I'm just video you as she's saying all but those hurtful comments. That, you know, women have the strength that men doesn't have. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that were supposed to be that you can only find majority stereotypically speaking in ladies you know so i got i i kind of not really got it i kind of like grasped or came in contact with because i was going to those uh women conferences i don't know if that makes sense and then god told me that this gift is prevalent in ladies that's why you see most ladies are more prophetic than guys I don't know if that makes sense. Most guys, they're more into hearing God's voice and feeling him. Most ladies are like more prophetic. Like if you meet a lady that's prophetic, most of the times their gift, their gift of prophecy is more than, I don't know. I, anyway, that's, that's just me. That's the, the observations I've made anyway. But yeah. Where are you going to stop? You put that down. What am I going to put that down? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put it down. <laughs> yeah.